Hello, you guys. It's me, Spark City, with another Spark City vlog. I haven't done one of these in a couple days. I've sort of just been sticking to them when... Sticking to doing them when I feel like I have something to say that isn't just like, hey, I played Rocket League, and tomorrow we're going to play this. Um, so I played TFT today. It was super fun. We had a really random game. Like, I'm still not super sure what I'm doing in that game, but sometimes I seem to find success. So I had a pretty crazy game where I got down to, like, 20 HP. I lost, like, every single round up until, like, mid-game, and then I turned it around and won 14 straight and won the entire game. I guess I'm the best player in the entire universe. We may never know, but I actually downloaded that highlight so that I can edit it because I wasn't recording it at the time. I'm also going to try and reroute my um, my audio a little bit better through Discord so that whenever I want to turn on my recording, I can. Because when I stream it, when I pull it off Twitch, all the audio is in one channel. So I can't, like if the music's too loud, if I don't want to get copyright pinged, I can't really do anything about it. But um, if, I, if I'm recording, then I can record all my audio. So like my Discord audio my audio, my microphone, my external microphone, and then the game game sounds and whatever like that, um, I can record that as well through different audio tracks. And then when they're in the editing program, I can, you know, raise them, lower them, cut them out if I need to. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try and do that. And I'll do that for the Pokemon thing too, because that's the uh, that's thing I noticed from my playthrough of Ocarina of Time is that I was recording those, but the audio is routed through my voice meter, which all comes into the same thing. So it just counts as desktop audio on OBS. Speaking of OBS, um, I'm wondering if you guys want me to do tutorials on how to set up, how I've set up OBS and how you guys can set up OBS with your own equipment and stuff like that. I have a pretty interesting setup and I think it's really good. It's very, very adaptable, especially for my music production stuff that I'm trying to do. Um, it's very adaptable. So um, let me know if you guys want me to do some YouTube tutorials on that. If anything in specific, you know, <clears throat> how to set up certain things. Reznok, Reznok and I have talked about this a little bit and he's expressed interest in it. And that's something I want to do that TFT game. Uh, I did download the VOD so I can edit it up. I'm just going to slice it. I'll probably post it on YouTube just to keep the editing skills sharp. Um, try and do some funny stuff to it. Maybe we'll see. Um, but yeah, good stream today. We did some tourney Tuesday and I actually lost tw twice and almost the third time. And I was giga salty in that third one. Um, and it was one of those ones where like, I just, I just didn't flip my brain on. So I was still in like goof around mode and ugh, anyway, so I lost twice. So the streak is over is about two, two and a half ish months, uh, about 10 weeks, let's say of, of unbeaten in tournaments. And then I got beaten twice. Uh, but it was super fun at the end. We, uh, we played, uh, the last tournament was rumble one V one and it was just it, on rocket labs map. So it was just a really good goof around time. Those are actually super fun and it helps you like, it's such a good, environment to just like practice stuff and go for crazy things and it, it's just a good time so hex and i had a pretty solid best of three finals uh i cheesed him like 80 different times um but it was a good time and then we raided uh, a gent texas underscore eternity his thing said pushing to affiliate and i had 13 viewers only six joined the raid but still thank you to everybody who joined the raid i really appreciate you guys a lot of people i'm assuming are lurkers or uh or you know people who didn't really want to be in the raid which is fine that's why we raid and we don't host um, but yeah, I hope that, uh, that guy has some good times. Thanks to everybody again who joined in the raid. Um, so the poll is in Twitter has concluded Thursday. I am going to be playing Pokemon soul silver, which is a gen four remake of the gen two classic silver. People have said that, you know, the quality of life and just the, the mechanics of the game are a little bit more polished. Uh, but the game is overall pretty much the same. And I'll be doing a Nuzlocke challenge, which means if my Pokemon faints, I have to put it in my computer or release it into the wild because I can't have that one anymore. Um, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, I've never done a Nuzlocke challenge, but I'd also never done a Three Hearts challenge in, po in Ocarina, and we managed to do that quite okay. So hopefully we'll have some of the pros in here. I know Venus, Hexadecim, uh, Null Sprite. I know you guys are all pros if you're watching this, so feel free to pop in and help me out because I have no idea how to build a Pokemon squad. Usually all I do is I just power level my one guy to level 100 and, and just have a bunch of HM slaves. So I'm going to probably need a little bit more balance of a team. And I don't think that shit flies in. So I'll be doing... Um, the way I'm going to be doing it, there's two Elite Four battles up and then Red. So when I beat Red, for those who are familiar with Silver, you go through the Johto region, you beat the Elite Four. You go through the Kanto region, which is the one from the first gen, you beat the Elite Four again. And then you have to beat red on top of Mount Moon or some shit. Um, so we'll be going um, hopefully as far as I can until I beat red. Um, if I get like like f 10, 15 hours in, you know, I'm doing this for a couple weeks and I lose all my guys. I don't think I'm going to stick around and keep trying it. I think I might just have to give it up, but we'll see. 
Um, also notice for, and this sort of ties into the thing, I'm going to be creating a sp specific um, channel reward for the points for naming my Pokemon. So basically it'll be first come first serve. If you are watching the game, if you're watching me play and I go to catch a Pokemon, um, first come first serve. And it, what will happen is if you guys, you know, if three people stack up their their stuff, I will reject the second two, so you guys get the refund of points. I don't know how much I'm gonna make that one, maybe like 2,500 or something like that. Um, not too not too major. And we'll limit it to one a day, so, you know, if if uh, Reznok has a second thoughts about, you know, wanting coaching or whatever, he, he can't just like name all of my Pokemon infinitely. Um, so we'll limit it to one a day. Um, if we don't have any, I'll just keep them in my inventory as normal. And then we can go to the nickname person later or whatever. Um, in that same vein, I am going to be changing the price of two of them. Song request, I'm going to drop to about 5,000. 10,000 is a bit steep. Um, and coaching, I'm going to drop to 37.5K um, for a half hour session down from 50K. Um, Reznok and I have been co-responding. So thanks again, buddy, for, for helping me out with this. But the idea is that I want it to take about a month to be able to get an hour. Just like if you were to... Um, a, a month of like solid viewership with a bit of leniency obviously um, if you wanted to get the training just like if you wanted to do training you would uh, with you know if you wanted to tier 3 sub that's one one session a month so <clears throat> those are the two changes music down from 10,000 to 5,000 um, and coaching down from 50,000 to 37.5k meaning 75k for the full hour session if you want that but yeah uh that, I think, is pretty much everything. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so we're just going to be playing Rocket League as usual. I will probably do some ranked. Uh, if you guys have any replays to send in, of course, my subscribers send in the replays. We can do some analysis. If you... Uh, I might open up to some games later. We'll see. I mean, like, Wednesday, it's usually a day. I don't... I just play Rocket League the whole day, so we'll, we'll figure something out. But, yeah. Hope you guys will be on tomorrow. Uh, I love you all very much. Thank you all for watching so much. Thanks for everybody. There have been a lot of gifted subs. Some slut gifted one. We had Preb gift one anonymously and then tell us it was him. So maybe he's like ISIS trying to take credit for a terror strike, but we may never know for sure. Um, so thank you to you. Ava gifted one to Kaylee. Pikminicus, of course, gifting. I think he gifted nine subs earlier this week, like either like yesterday, to get to 100 gifted on the channel. So big shout outs to him, of course. Go subscribe to him on YouTube, Pikminicus. Um, good guy, really swell dude, really nice guy, funny as hell. And just a genuine dude. So, you know, go subscribe to him on YouTube. And, and on, follow him on Twitch. He's on Twitch as well. So uh, he, you might see him and I collabing together on some League of Legends stuff if, he, if we ever get our times lined up. But anyway, love you guys very much. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.